Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to talk to you about the ID3 and fast charging. The ID3 can charge DC with 100 kilowatt, but as every other EV, when the battery is cold, because cold outside temperature and you let it park, um, means lower charging speed. But how do you get the good charging speed, the advertised 100 kilowatt? So what I'm trying to do today is show you what the car does itself with a battery heater and then what you can do uh, driving to get to a temperature so you get your 100 kilowatt because that's just nice. <laughs> Important is um, the ID3 has a battery heater. Not every EV has a battery heater. Some cars just have to heat with driving or with charging. But the ID3 has, but right now with the software that I have, it uh, charges, uh, it heats up the battery only to 13 degrees. So you have full range, full regen, and the full power available. But this is not enough for fast charging. And I uh, want to monitor this with OBD11 too the battery temperature and then we see after driving a bit on the highway if we get the 100, 100 kilowatt. So I got into the car, I parked it outside, it's one degree outside so the battery will be cold, we'll see in a second and it, it, I have to climb it off but the battery heater is taking six kilowatt to heat up the battery immediately when I get into the car and we will look now on OBD 11.2 the dongle that's down here and let's look where is battery energy module 44.8 percent is my state of charge battery and here the highest measured temperature of the battery is four degrees lowest is three and a half so we have to heat that up so 14 and a half amp 392 volt that I will drive now to the highway still heating up with six kilowatt and I turn on the heat it's way too cold now I put the heat on full and it's taking almost 12 kilowatt to heat up the battery and the cabin and I just heard the clunk of the battery because when the battery is cold and it gets heated up there's expansion of the metal and then you hear a bit of a clunk sound it's not bad it's just okay and uh, other cars have to too. I've, I've heard, I have noticed that of course in the Model 3 it's very famous for that but also I noticed it in the Hyundai Ioniq facelift. I was going down a long hill a few kilometers downhill and regen heated up the battery and then it did the clunk sound. And what you also get from a cold battery is that here you don't have full power and you don't have full regen battery is not that cold if it would be zero degrees or more or colder then it's even less region and less power so I drove a few kilometers four kilometers what was that? 15 minutes when I started the car. And the highest temperature is at 13.6, the lowest temperature in the battery at 10.8. And I turned off the climate and the battery heater is off. So it's not that long. It really, when it reached the, the 13 degrees, it turned it off. That's good to know. But still, I need this. You can see that only one amp. And by the way, minus means uh, uh, taking out of the battery and plus means going in so if I do reach in then this goes in and right now you can see 390 uh, a volt 291 and, uh, and 13 amps 12 to 13 amps uh, just for the for the heating of the cabin 5 kilowatt it's a lot but it's cold in here and I have it set to 24 degrees I don't want it in eco. Heat up the whole car. I have my pups in the back. <laughs> that's Olivia, and that's Wesley, and there's a black cat.
I'm right before the highway. Let's turn off the climate and see. Battery heater is still off, that's good. I turned the heat down a bit. And um, highest temperature is at 17 degrees, but it's, sl it's slowing down the heating. And lowest temperature at 13 degrees. It's nice every time when I stop, the voltage goes up because there's no, no a lot of uh, power taking out of the battery. That's interesting. But I have to hook up some cameras and then we go on the highway. I want to see what's the maximum amp it takes out when you accelerate and what's the maximum amp you can reach in into the car. So we know kilowatts uh, taking out should be 150, but how much is going into the battery with reach in? Oh, interesting. And I'm at 34% and I want to arrive at the Ionity charger under 10. So we'll go the other direction and back and then I drive with 130 and then we see what the temperature is. And my average consumption was of course high because the battery heater is 6 kilowatt, the heater in here is 6 kilowatt, so almost 12 kilowatt. And then driving only 13 kilometers and the speed is nothing. I was driving around 60 to, to 100 here, but mostly under 100. So my screen recorder is on. Um, we are at 16, the, the temperature uh, already decreased by standing here for, for a few minutes. 16 degrees highest, 13 degrees lowest, 39 volt in the battery. It's taking about 8 amps right now for 3 kilowatt because of the heater. And let's go on the highway. I want to arrive, like I said, with under 10% at the charger. And I want to get the battery temperature maybe to 30 because I charged uh, at a 50 kilowatt charger and it was 24 degrees or so and it, I don't think I got the full 50 kilowatt even put it in sport just to be sure <laughs> and then full region how much how many amps do we get huh you say like this that how much amps let's go three two one full 411 415 415 amps was the highest I have seen. I have, a, I have a power limit, by the way. In full region, that's all the region I have. 168 amps I have seen, I think. Let's heat up the battery. Let's drive 130, see if that heats up the battery. Put the cruise control on 130. And maybe 130 does not heat up the battery to the level that you need at, what is it, 2 degrees is it right now. Uh, it, it's heating up but slowly. So slow. I'm at 31% state of charge. This is nowhere near the battery temp that you need. So again, if it's minus 10 outside, I totally get it that it takes way too long and if you don't drive highway, if you drive country road, battery will never get warm in the winter so you get the 100 kilowatt. Volkswagen says that there will be an update where you navigate to a charger and will preheat the battery to a temperature so you get fast charging speeds. Right now it doesn't have that. So what I'm trying to do here is see how long it will take and with 130 at 2 degrees it looks like that takes a long, long time. It's not even in 17 and a half degrees. Even though I'm taking out almost 100 amps out of the battery, maybe I need more. But again, <clears throat> right now, if I would drive to a next charger with full battery, I don't know, 150, 170 kilometers, I think it would heat up to the level that, that we need for full charging speed but with this it's almost 17 and a half now to get to 30 or above 30 that will take 45 minutes or so and that's why let's speed it up a bit and see let's drive faster not sport mode go back to individual I don't need that. Now I'm in full throttle. I'm taking 150 amps 
out of the battery. But of course we have more wind that could cool the battery. Full region. And full power. I still I don't have full power because with the latest update the, the, there's a power limit even at, at 40 percent. Let's do full regen again because that's another technique to heat up your battery. Full regen and then full power. So you take always a lot of amps out of the battery and then put a lot of amps in there that will should heat up your battery. Of course it's not good for consumption. It's just wasting energy. I'm up 20 degrees and it works well. <laughs> works better than driving 130. Yeah, I don't think 130 at, at the 3 degrees now would heat up the battery in a normal time unless you do a long distance trip. So if you drive, like I said, 150 kilometers, then maybe. Uphill, taking more power. Ooh, 160 in the corner. Ooh, almost 30 degrees. <laughs> there we have it, 30 degrees. Cool. But now we have to keep it there. I don't know what the temperature is where it can charge fast. I have no idea. Ten percent. There's the warning in the dashboard as well. Almost thirty-two percent, uh, thirty-two degrees in the battery. Five hundred and thirty-two kilometers of margin, but it's going downhill in a second. Just two kilometers or so, and then it's downhill to the charger. Seven percent, 14 kilometers of range, 11 kilometers to go. It's fine, <laughs> I hope. Ooh, temperature going down, 32 point, uh, 32.5. 1.5 degrees out there. We arrive in five minutes. From now on, it's downhill. So the range is fine with only two kilometers of margin at 6%. It's totally fine because we barely take any energy out right now. We're cooling the battery with driving 130. That's not good. Well, cooling the battery, uh, it's losing in, uh, uh, heat at 32 degrees. So that's, that's the proof that you cannot heat up the battery at this temperature with only 130 because it's getting colder now. Maybe you get it up to 25 or so, but you don't get 100, 100 kilowatt.
four percent, three two point five to go, eight kilometers of range. Yeah, I told you that downhill helps. <laughs> Our consumption is also going down. Let's try, Let's see before the battery cools down even more. Come on, come on. Plugged in, accepted. We hear a clunk in here. Should hear a clunk in the car. There we go, I hear the car doing something and let's go. Go we get, come on. Come on, come on, yes, so 30 degrees is enough, we get 100 kilowatt, 399 volt, the car said 370 when, use, when driving, but, and, and 250 amps, that looks good, 100 kilowatt, that's awesome. So that worked well. And why did I do this video? I see so many comments with the ID3 that the battery is not, that, that the car is not only charging with 50 kilowatt. And this is the problem. Yes, it has a battery heater. And again, not every EV has a battery heater. So many EVs don't have that. So when the battery is cold, you're charging cold. There's nothing you can do about it except for what I just did with the driving. ID3, Model 3, e-tron, Taycan, uh, the, the Kona has a battery heater, but it doesn't heat it up for, for, for good charging. It just does the same as the ID3, just to a level that you have full range. And the ID3 heater is working well. It can heat up with six kilowatt. It can heat it to the temperature that you need for fast charging, but it doesn't do it with the software right now. They said there will be preheating when navigating to a charger, but I don't know when. I don't know if it will come with the ID software soon, so in a few weeks, or if it takes a bit more and then over the air update with it. I don't know. Still 100 kilowatt. And you don't have to arrive with the 4% that I did. So I think it, it, even at 15% at it will have the 100 kilowatt. And what is weird, it will keep this 100 kilowatt to th around 30, 33%. But when you plug in with 30%, you don't get 100 kilowatt. It has to be lower than 15 in the summer, this is all no problem, but right now in the winter, it is a problem. Especially, I mean, today it was one degree, that's okay. But when it is uh, minus 10, minus 15 in the, in the Nord, Nord, Nordic countries, I totally understand that people are mad. And if you don't drive too fast, and if you don't want to drive fast and slow and fast and slow, if you're just doing a road trip at minus 10 degrees, at a, in a country, at a country road, for example, only drive 90 or 100, the, the battery will never heat up to the, to the temperature where it uh, charges fast. But this is the thing, what's more important to you, the battery being hot and you charge fast, or the battery is being heated, but in the end you have higher consumption, you have to charge longer. So and this is the thing, <laughs> how far was your drive, how much do you have to, to charge? And right now it does everything automatically, uh, maybe we get a button at some point to preheat. That would be amazing. Hint, hint, Volkswagen. <laughs> but that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.